Hello, mate. Um, if that clap was to be recording, then you made a terrible mistake. Why? What's okay. going on, man? Battery in the staff cam. I'm not, I'm setting things up. You I've got shit to set up in this shithole. Mate, I've been fucking... Don't you put a camera behind the laptop. Don't at me. You virgin. <laughs> and someone's angry. Welcome back to the back post, everyone. This one's coming to you live from my living room because we're not live. Live from my living room. It's coming to them live, is it? The back post is currently coming to them live. One day. Nice, nice like, one. One day it might be live. Like, <laughs> anyway, yeah, I'm in Birmingham. Josh is still in Manchester, but we're doing another Skype episode. And things happened yesterday, Josh. I, I, I want to. Can I? Can I, I don't can know I, where to start. To be fair. Yeah, can I start by just reading you a text? Um, yeah, sure. That's fine. Because uh, I'm, I'm not saying that, you know... You know, I, I don't know. I'm not saying that I pass it off a saw or anything coming, Joe. But the text I will, is in response to you saying, I think Yaz are going to dick us. To which replied, I'm worried about the fullbacks. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Now, Jake, not only was that <laughs> an understatement, not even tri- like not even the glaringly obvious one that oh, you think I'll talk about. That first goal, Larice gets a lot of blame for yesterday's game. And Larice did not cover himself in glory. He did not. Yeah. However, yeah. how the fuck, Davies? If you watch back Pedro's goal, Davies starts to track him and then just fucks off <laughs> into the box. He just leaves him. That's Davies' fault. And in the second one, I people are trying to tell me that was Larice's fault. Larice didn't do great, but that's not Larice's fault. Let, let, just quick thing: <laughs> um, the second goal Josh is talking about is Trippier. Went to they pass know the Larice. second goal. Let's not fucking relive it. <laughs> Goes to pass it back to Larice, and Larice has already come out, so it almost looked like Kieran and Trippier just slotted it past him. It was great. Um, so that's what Josh is talking about, and I, one of my notes, to be fair, was is it Loris or Trippier's fault? I think Trippier. It's Trippier. Right. It's hundred percent Trippier. Because you can that see man needs Loris to was fuck already off walking now. out. Loris was already cutting out. Yeah, yeah and, but the thing is, there's a literal, literal stuff, 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 a shot, a free frame of Trippier, Trippier looking, looking at Loris just for a kick. I just. <sighs> There was no one around him. He he, he was a, he was panicked. He, he just he just he didn't need to play it so quickly back to the race. Like it was no, just it was mad. But you know what? We didn't have a shot on target. We didn't deserve to win. We didn't deserve to win against Burnley. No, we're out of form. Yeah, it's fine. At least crazy. my club's not a fucking disgrace that somehow scrapes undeserved wins after fucking sh- pathetic performances on a pitch at Wembley. I don't know what all we're talking about this anymore. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> oh, it's great, isn't it? I was, I was, I was, is this the first time Chelsea have beat Spurs when we've done the podcast? Because we've played each other three times now, I think. Well, well yeah, technically, you've you knocked us out of the Carabao with a 2-1 win. Oh, of course, yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. So we've played each other four times now, and if you want to know a fun fact, as 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 much as my defeats have come later, so that it feels shitter for me now, we're actually tied on aggregate, because it's 3-1, 2-2, 2-0. So... I don't know what that means. It doesn't I don't mean, care. Doesn't mean much, but yeah, <laughs> it was it was a good win for Chelsea. Um, to be fair, like as much as you didn't have a shot on target, we weren't like we were decent up until the last areas, and and like if it weren't for Pedro, you know, running at you, we wouldn't have got the first goal. So, so like I don't know, it was it was fucking brilliant. I was watching, I watched most of it on my phone, which is on the car back from this meal, and then I watched the rest of it. Here and I celebrated Trippier's goal like mad. <laughs> Great. Great. Um, uh, one point I wanted to make is, and I know you don't really care, uh, um, but is the whole Kepper thing brought us closer to Sarri? Because I felt so fucking sorry for Sarri after that, and and he's you know what he's come in and he's took him out. They find him. He said after the thing he it was a, it was a message to my players. 
it might have brought us closer to Sarah. It, it probably, probably has, has. But, but the, the fact, fact that, that and this, this is, is yeah, 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 I'm gonna, gonna say it. It. the but fact that you need something like that, that is pathetic. Like, like not no, for you, because I know that you'd like to support your fucking managers anyway. But you know, in order, the only way to be, if the only way you can support your manager is because there's a, a bigger little cunt around. <laughs> That's ridiculous. It's okay. Yeah, it's a ridiculous situation, That's but ridiculous. it's something we fucking needed. Uh, yeah, but the, no, okay, you know you, you didn't need that. We didn't need that. Let's be honest. Let's. But we needed Caballero to be close walking to off Sarah. the pitch, fist pumping, at the end of that game when we hadn't had a shot on target was a joke. Like Caballero coming out, like, like, yeah, yeah shit, I proved everyone right. I'm Willie Caballero. We didn't have a shot. We were shit, mate. You literally only had to take three kick goal kicks. That was your only job. And he fucking did it well, all right. He did it well. well okay, great. Big but win. all I'm saying, like, right, it's. No, that shouldn't have to be a catalyst. That should have, that is. I'm not. I'm not saying it should have. Yeah. Should have to be, but it is. Yeah, yeah maybe, 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 maybe it's worth. Well, what I want to know, know is, uh, yeah, yeah, maybe he's sort of slight bit of strength. Uh, dropping the cap. He, he hasn't shown a bit of strength with his captain not getting involved, involved in the fucking game. That's not actually strength. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a massive shot. Aspinacueta should have should have fucking dragged him off the pitch. I think John said Terry said it in the. In the thing, he should have just dragged him off the pitch. He's a little rat for what he did, to be fair. We haven't spoke about that. He's a prick. I, Josh knows I was fuming when that happened. Like, just the disrespect to to, to the club, to to, to Sarri, to fucking Willie. It was insane. And I've, I'm, he's getting what he deserves. I think he deserves more a bigger fine than just one week's wages. I think. While I just quickly check my camera. camera. Just so tell, tell me what you would do if you were Sari with Kappa. Okay, so it's a it's a tricky one. I think Sari's gone about it in a really good way. I think he's he's took him off for the next game. It, although it was a big game, he's took him off. I was worried about that. I didn't think he was gonna. Um, definitely would have done that. I reckon I'd keep him off for a couple of games just to as, as if Willie does well. I know he didn't have to do much against you, but if he keeps doing well, keep him on. Make a point to Kepa saying like, no, I'm the fucking manager. I think I would have fined him a bit more than just one week because a week to these players is nothing, is it? A week's wage is like something. It's just it's petty money. At least they're like a month, maybe. And I know it's big, but they make fucking millions. They don't care about that. Um, but other than that, I think he's gone a really good way about it. I think you're right, though. I think I would have uh, punished Aspilicueta as well. Gave the captaincy away to someone, or or like even just didn't play him for the one game or something. He deserves a punishment for sure. It's ridiculous when it, but I think what I what I was scared with is they come out and they were like it's a misunderstanding, it's a misunderstanding, and it was, was it fuck a misunderstanding? And I was just I was I thought it was just going to try and get brushed over, but to be fair, the day after, the two days after, sorry, they uh, Kepa came out. He said I'm apologising. What I did was wrong. So I'm happy that's happened at least because I thought they were just gonna go like, oh, it didn't, it didn't happen, it didn't happen. But you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. It's ridiculous. Yeah. It's weird being a Chelsea fan right now because that game we played really well. We in in the Carabao Cup final we played really well. We we weren't amazing, but we did what we had to do, and we stopped the team that not two weeks prior slapped us six 0 We stopped them from scoring. And had some mad chances. Kante should have scored. Pedro passed it when he should have shot. There were so many different chances. We could have... Me uh, and uh, Jack uh, were that was discussing that last night. Like, uh, uh, Pedro, Pedro pass. That was insane. Like, he, he, like, knowing his talent as well, he could have just drived it and we would have won it up. Kante, it's a bit different. Kante is not a goal fucking scorer. Although he was like four yards out, he should have smacked that straight in the top of the net. But Pedro, like, so much space. so And he just trying to pass it into the... Where there were like players, and you know, I don't know, that was weird. So we could have won that game. So that's what's that's what was so peak about it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah, yeah, well, yeah um, but not like. And also, we get slapped six 0 so it's weird. Football's weird. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it doesn't matter. Uh, the the final, 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 like, final, it's not. not you haven't taken the point in the league. league. You still lost. lost. Yeah, but, and I will say this, and this is maybe his petty Josh coming out. Bad old fuck. Um, he always comes out. Yeah, that's fair. Um, thank God you didn't win that final because if somehow under the football you're playing with a, a manager that your fans were not currently on side with because Kepa hadn't thrown a hissy fit yet and, and disharmony and discontent right through the club if you still come out of the season with a trophy it's just proving the football's fucking pointless and not fair see that's a, that's a fair shout because like 
up to up to that point we didn't deserve. Or well, in the prep, I guess we didn't play too bad against you in the semi final. Um, no, 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 that team does not yeah, yeah, yeah. come out with a trophy this season. And, and, you know, it's further proof of football that, that, that team then goes on. on. Yeah, yeah, doesn't that, that team loses to a, a team that's, um, you know, funded by oil and probably a lot of blood money. Yeah. So, yeah. it's still not fair, but, you know, at least it's likeable football. And, you know, I can't help the single squad at the moment. I think they're really just for the single squad. The foundations that are built is incredibly catchy, but, yeah. I am. What you do? Everything is. It's a fair point. The only thing I would say is, during the course of that final, I was getting on board with Sarri because he was making the right decisions. Man didn't sub Kovacic on. That was mad, right? That was just amazing. And like I was getting. I think it's the like for like. Um, yeah, but it's the fact that he's bringing on the the Loftus and fucking because Loftus, although he's like for like for Kovacic, he's a bit more attacking, isn't he? Kovic is a good passer of the ball, but lots of shit will turn and face and run at them, which is what we what we need is. I mean, yeah, that, 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 yeah, that amazing bit of skill and turn to this man and play the ball through, but he didn't do anything else. No, he did. He did come on. He'd run at them a little bit and 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 he shaked it up a bit. I think Callum had more of an impact. That's for sure. But you know, mm. Higuain did nothing though. No, no big he did nothing yesterday. In your um. Game. I mean, we're just sort of going off on points here, I guess. But, but if uh, you have anything more to say about the final, I mean, it was. I mean, I was listening to it on the radio. I didn't really. I don't, I don't watch the highlights since. And, I am. Um, but I don't have much else to say. I think I've said what I need to say. But which what was sad about is again, I was watching it in the car on my phone the whole journey back from Manchester, and I got to um, got to Hope's house and was in. I was on her drive. And um, I'm literally just watching the pens, and she's like, "Can we go inside?" I'm like, "No, we fucking can't." Like, we're like the third, third pen in. And I'm just, I'm just like, I, "Can she have just gone inside? You could have joined her in a minute." Oh, she could have. I, I said, "I'm not." <laughs> I didn't, I didn't, I didn't hold her back. Oh, you should have, just, you should have just gone. <laughs> um. But yeah, no, nothing else to say about the final. Really, it was just fucking ridiculous. Kepa, that was just disgrace. Such a sticky situation, though, because Matt, we, he's the most expensive goalkeeper in the world. We can't just fuck him off, can we? Well, we can, yeah, but I don't you know. Can. Weird. And you need to. Little... And you oh, absolutely yeah. do. My, 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 my solution to Kepa would, would be, be see you later, enjoy the under 23 the entire, the entire season, season you're, you're not playing, playing again. again. You, you, your, your decision has ended your season. season. This is the same as going two footed into a brick wall, you stupid man. See you later. And I wouldn't then freeze him out. I'd say to him, look, we can discuss this in the summer and we, we can bring you back into the fold, but if you uh, you need to understand that that decision has ended your season. And there's only 10 games left. Yeah, there, so, yeah, so there, ain't, no, there ain't a lot of games left. Just say you're missing the rest of the season. season. We'll, we'll discuss, discuss this. this. If, if not, not, we'll sell you and buy someone else. And I wait. You can't, can't do that. that. Isn't it? We can't buy someone else. Uh, we'll mm. have Willie will be our number one and Rob Green will be our number two. <laughs> Let's go. <sighs> yeah, yeah, I mean... Yeah. Yeah. No, I think we said we said enough about that. I mean, on 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 a Tottenham point of view, we're, we're currently talking about a team that has not managed, cannot change at the moment because unlike Sarri's, it's not the Sarri's doing it; it's literally because of the black person. Now we don't have two midfielders. We have we the, 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 the come come in in the the we have we have that's it. it. The has gone. Remember. What? Winks at the crossbar. Just remember. Yeah, it's it's a bit shot. I didn't say what I mean. Oh, he did as well. Shit, man. man. Uh, Perth, but I um, And then Jack turned to me and went, go on, have a pop. And I went, nah, it's Winks. Whoa, fuck me. Like, <laughs> that was a surprise. So, you know, there was, there was, uh, when they're good, but they can't play every game. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Because like, that's not, they're, they're knackered. And, and then we, we don't, don't, when you have still gone, their belly's been sold, and that's, that's, that's it. We've got all the skip, who I'm sure might be good, but he's not ready. We've, we've got, got two pieces, like, honestly, we need to have a top of them could be title contenders if we have fullbacks. Because fuck me. Yeah, 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 that's a shame. It's, I reckon that's where our problem lies. Trippier and Aurier, Aurier can't be trusted. Trippier's got too big for his fucking boots since the World Cup. 
<laughs> and he asked, yeah, how the fuck did that man get into the top 100 footballs in the world? And I'm not even going to talk about the top 100 and the top 100 didn't. How the f- Who looks at our back form and goes, yeah, Trippy is the anchor in that position? He scored a free kick in the World Cup and then we didn't defend properly from the wings as Croatia came back. Yeah. Shut up. It was a good, good free He's, kick. So Elliot uh, <laughs> words it the best, actually, when I discussed it at work. Uh, he described Trippier as a, a winger who can't skin a man. And that's what Trippier is. Yeah, yeah. You can whip the ball, ball in, in, but you can't get to the bar line. And if you can't get to the bar line one way, I don't see why you should be able to get the back against the full back. I don't see why you should be able to get to the bar line the other way, defending against a pacey winger. He can't. Davies is a liable. Fucking Aurier is a fucking mess. The only one that I trust is Rose, but he's he can't for some reason play too much as a row because his fitness is an issue. Play Kyle Walker Peters, and that's maybe by a Fucking 50, mil, 50 million fullback. I don't care anymore. Let's, let's get some horrible blood money and let's buy some fullbacks. <laughs> and then midfielder. Oh, oh that will be fine. But, and, and Kane shouldn't be back. Why is Kane back? I said this to you. You said he, you, you no. think he was ready. I said, why is he back? No, I did not. I said he should be on the bench. Just back off. <laughs> I did not say he should be starting against Burnley. He should be resting. At all. Do not put those words into my mouth. Okay. Of course great. he should have been starting against Burnley. He should be on the bench coming on, getting half an hour and being ready for Chelsea. Yeah. yeah. That's what we've agreed. agreed. Okay. All right, big man. All right, so in the summer, yeah, who would you yeah, want to yeah. buy? What? Who would you want to buy in the summer to have, fix your problem? What, re- re- realistically? Yeah, realistically, not like fucking anyone. Like, realistically, who would you want to buy to fix it? Uh, um, I, I would say... Two fullbacks so on the right side. I don't think we'd get him, but you meant this is Cancelo is is mint. I would say Juan Bissaka from Palace would be an incredible shout. Yeah. Uh, left back, I literally if Brendan Rodgers, which we'll discuss in a minute, can leave um, Celtic nine games away from having a treble treble to go to Leicester. I don't really see why we couldn't pry Kieran Tierney off them as left back. He seems class. I remember him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I don't think those things will happen. I think we'll probably stick with Trippier and I'll slam my head off a brick wall. But you Kyle think... Walker, that'd be a good shout. <laughs> uh... <laughs> you know what oh, I was mad with Bring... yesterday? Speaking of left backs, why didn't we play Emerson? You played Alonso, didn't you? Um, we, we, like, Sam came out and really said, really watch well. I, didn't, I watched the game and I did, but. I, do you know what I mean? Maybe not watch Arsenal, but man, but they, but they do, if you ever watch the game, you just kind of know where it's going. So you're still watching, but you sort of you just your eyes just don't really want to stick on it. Yes, that's what was happening when I was we just were watching it. Four nil to this is bad City, and I knew yeah. more were coming. Yeah, but no, it was like, a, yeah, it wasn't very really exciting. I don't know what's happened to Ericsson either. Like, I love him, and he doesn't deserve to be thrown under the bus. But fuck me, he's gone missing. What did he do yesterday? Did you see him? I didn't see him much, you know. Yeah. I, it was crazy. It's crazy. Like, again, it's it's that whole thing. Football's crazy, but like Tottenham was were brilliant against Dortmund. Yous were brilliant, and and where was that Tottenham against Burnley and us? Like, it's crazy. Well, yeah, we haven't. It's the first time we've watched Dino on a shot target. So that is mad. That was mad. Because the thing is, like yeah. Willie as well. Like, as much as he's a good goalkeeper. Kane against Willie, you you're betting against Kane, aren't you? Yeah, I, mean, I, 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 was, I was quite a positive tweet against some negative Spurs fans yesterday saying that because he said Hazard against no Yamatong and don't be silly. And I was like, Kane against fucking Louise. And then, <laughs> Louise I mean, had a good game. It's not though. like Louise. I don't think Louise and really had to do. Really good. It's a good player, but I don't think they had to do much. You say what? Say again. I don't think they had to do much. They didn't have to do much. No. Um... There was, well, there was times well, where it got a bit crowded tested. and they de- dealt with it a little bit. Luis had a decent game. Rudiger, uh, you know what? I'll fucking rate Rudiger now. I've always rated Rudiger. I've, ra- I've rated him for a while, but like, I al- I've always thought Luis and Rudiger, it's a weird, a weird uh, centre-back well, partnership. Yeah, Luis is weird, not Rudiger. No, yeah, he's fucking solid, isn't he? Imagine if you actually had a right-back and you could play just Cesar and... Rudiger, yeah, Rudiger. imagine, and yeah, we had, um, imagine we had Ivanovic still. That would be, that's the dream. I'm not sure why he's still a right back. He's all right, but he, he gets he's up. Doing, to be fair he's doing him. a good job, but he feels wasted. Well, that's the Sarri way, isn't it? Waste <laughs> players in the wrong that's positions. Fair. That's fair. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I mean, yeah, 
it's been shit, it's been a shit. But you know, we're tired and we we're out of form. We're out of form, it's fine, we're gonna be fine. Even if we drop out of the top four, guess what? We'll be fine. That's like, you still you, we still don't expect to be where these other players are, but when when do you start yeah. expecting though? That's the question. Well, when do you start expecting to want it be wanting these things more and, and when are Tottenham supposed to be like because you say this like no, oh, some, fine, some, some fans are already there I, I've i discussed this I would rather watch the football that I watch than play like Burnley and maybe okay right, I, would, I would take playing like Burnley for a season to win a league or playing like a, or, or having the reputation of Chelsea for a season to win the league but to, be, to, to have that forever I wouldn't swap it and especially I don't know. I'm fine. I'm fine. It's all good. I'm I feel not. like you say that every podcast. Like we're fine. I'm fine. It's good. <laughs> that's fine. That's like the rest of my life. That's just that's just monitor your expectations. <laughs> all right. I think that's a good way to end part out. one, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. All right. Part one's over. Good. Welcome back to part two, everyone. Um, because we're doing this. Skype thing. We're only gonna do two parts, two twenty-minute parts. So, uh, still forty-minute podcast, mm. but you know. Also, hopefully you can see my face again now because my camera just won't stop stealing it because my room is a damn hard as shit. Hell. Um, Josh is feeling great. One quick today. point that we need to mention <laughs> is as, as much as we discussed Arsenal. Uh, yeah. Um, Liverpool. Uh, whatever the fuck we discussed, the Carabao Cup final. Uh, on the same day, we also had. Bless. Really? Right. Okay. Right. 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 So no, yeah, you fucked it now. No, you fucked it. You was meant. Anyway, um, all I wanted to that. say was uh, in the quality of those two games, um, their total squad worth, and I was going to do the entire um, player worth uh, that were on the pitch, but that was very time consuming, and I'm not doing that. Um, City have these equivalent of 1.01 billion in squad talent um Chelsea have 8.8 million Liverpool have 798 million the United have 683 million worth of talent that's almost 2.5 billion worth maybe more slightly of, two, of, of talent and that was it I know that there's more to football than goals but fuck me it was a shit game the weekend of football uh, yeah, our game was our around. game was dramatic, but yeah, it was nil nil. Their ga- I didn't we didn't see their game, but nil nil, loads of injuries. Yeah, yeah. Just want to throw that out there. Um, yeah, as much as you hate to, uh, I hate to say, I don't hate to say this at all, but as much as you know, Chelsea sucks. Um, we've got Arsenal next. That's a that's what we give a shit about. Yeah, it's it, we've spoken about it before. Shit it now. It's weird because technically our our next game is our local derby, which is Fulham. So, you know, <laughs> you played Fulham the last time we played Arsenal, didn't you? It was, wasn't it? I think it was. Mm. Crazy. I'm pretty sure I'm saying. Because like, yeah, I, just, I don't want to do it. I mean, I don't know <laughs> anything can happen, and I'll, I'll feel confident closer to the time. But oh, fuck's sake! Do you know they go back to a point where they're going to win? You are sorry. They go back to a point behind us if they win. Oh, man. Nah. I mean, at least it makes the uh, top four interesting for the rest of the season. Shut up. I don't give a shit about the top four being interesting. You... Oh. As long as we finish in the top four, I find it fun. You're the least likely to finish in the top four. I know. That's why I want to... Even if Tottenham drop out... Arsenal have a league quite easy run of fixture and have hit form again. United are unstoppable. So is Jay. Just give up on that dream. Not giving mate, up, the only way you're doing it is winning the Europa, mate. I'm not giving up, mate. Which I'm sure you'd take. Not a pessimist. Oh, yeah, of course I'd take that. <laughs> but... You're not a pessimist, but you should start being a realist here because that's nah, not happening. No, I mean, we've got some we've got some good fixtures coming up. Some, some easier fixtures than others. So, you never know, mate. You never fucking know. I do. Uh, what should we bet yeah, on it? Should no. we bet on it? Um, one pound. What? One pound. I'd give you one pound if we finish top four. If we don't. No, I'm not buying. I'm not giving you anything if... Uh, 
You finished top four. Anyway, up. Arsenal. Um, what do you think to the game? What game? Arsenal? Yeah, yeah. What do you think is going to happen? What do you actually think is going to happen? Arsenal just beat Bournemouth 5-1. Yeah, that's what I've, Yeah, I don't I, I can't even tell you. I don't know. It's weird, I, isn't it? I don't even know how to hazard a guess. I, so I think... Because it's your your you guys fucking hate each other. It's, it's a big derby. I just I think it doesn't matter about form at all. No, it doesn't. No, um, and also top. Uh, I don't think Pochettino has ever won three on lost three on the bounce. So there you go. That's a stat for you. Um, yeah, that's a bad omen or a good omen. I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't know. It, like you say, it could be a draw. Could end the draw. Yeah. I always forget about. I'd take. I'd right? probably take it at the moment just to. Keep the gap and keep the stead, yeah, yeah. Then we get a bit of an easier run. So, yeah, you know, isn't it? let's let's have them, let's do them, let's do them. And then, even if um, we lose, we win because we're not soulless little cunt. There was a woman in the bias night, and a guy bought a guy was a Tottenham fan, and Elliot made it sound like he bought me a shot, but really, Elliot weirdly went, This Elliot, fuck you, um, went, You should have a shot with him, he's a Tottenham fan. And then he came around, this guy's bought you a shot. And I was like, what? And then I was like, oh, well, you bought him a shot and he's bought you a shot. It's on your tab. And I was like, that's not mm, uh, fine. But, that's strange. Um, yeah. But then his <laughs> girlfriend was like, I'm an Arsenal fan. And I was like, oh, great. And she was like, yeah. And then, to be honest, I know more Tottenham players than I do Arsenal players. And I went, can I just let you know a little secret? <laughs> you're, not an, you're not an Arsenal fan I know I'm not really I just do it to annoy him and I just looked at her and went great you're just pretending to be scum <laughs> see you there just walked away fuck it everyone uh, I dislike Arsenal I think I'd want a Tottenham win but then again that makes us that puts us in well worse I don't think most of your fan base unite against us that's why we're weirdly the most hated club in London you all hate us and it's, it's mad I love it it is mad. I, be, not being from London, I don't. I have always hated Arsenal more than I've hated Tottenham. Um, really, that bit not being because you can look at what's happening Until at Tottenham. I'm not you. Well, you can look at what's happening at Tottenham and, and respect it. So I don't know. I just it's it's different when yeah, it comes I to mean, the game. Of course, I fucking hate you. You know, it's a bit of just like Chelsea and Arsenal can, they will sometimes join together singing songs about Tottenham. That's ridiculous. That's mad. It is mad, especially because you nonce behaviour. Like, it's finest. Everyone caught doing that needs to be put on a fucking register. <laughs> register. <laughs> but you know, it's fun. It's all fun, isn't it? Football. It's not fun. I love football. My I knees are dead here yeah, as well. Yeah, but we did blast video yeah. out on the Sunday. Yeah. We did um, indoor, and then did indoor football. Yeah, so yeah. Peach actually at one point. <laughs> uh, but you know there wasn't that many people there, so that was knackering. And then uh, it was quite a nice day on Tuesday. So me and Jack and Lloyd went to the park. Uh, we ended up staying for about three and a half hours. We played a, like a full size match with a bunch of kids, which is quite funny because it really showed the difference between. Uh, I'm not sure if you do this, but it really showed the difference between me and Jack being from the country and Lloyd being a city boy. Yeah. Like for me, it was not even a big deal. There was like about fifteen kids were like, "We have a game," and we're like, "Yeah, fuck it, let's do it." It's funny, and then they're trying to like tackle these kids, but not. There's one guy, twelve. He's gonna go places. The amount three <laughs> times did he uh, Cruyff turn back heel it th- Megs me and then run past me and spike <laughs> then he chipped then he chipped Lloyd <laughs> he chipped him and he's we like Ugh. anyway but yeah, yeah my legs are just crying now they just want to die have a break man I'm not going to go a bike ride today but it's the first day I started pissing it down it's such an unhappy day sorry football <laughs> no no it's fine I enjoyed the story um <laughs> <laughs> I was fucked after Blessed, to be fair. That's the first full game I've played in a while. Again, like Josh said, video out Sunday of what happened. But yeah, <laughs> don't smile. <laughs> no, no, I've, I've, got, I've got something to tell you, but I, I promise it's true. And I'm not just being mean. Oh, fuck off, what? When I, I was editing, when I was sending all the footage yesterday, you know, John, the TA. Yeah. Didn't even know he was behind me. Burst out laughing. And went, Is that Jay with a fucking. Is that a. What is that? 
with your clearance after my save. And then John looks at me and goes, he gets in the team every week and walks off laughing. What a prick. And I, cr- I cry. John. I'm coming for And me. I'm only telling you because he'll tell you. And I, I want to get there first. What a prick. Oi, nah, I don't care. That clearance was okay. Got away from the striker. I mean, you, you did... All I'll say is, yes, you got to the ball, but you do clear it straight to the, the their attacker's feet. And the only reason that he then doesn't get shot away is because he miscontrols it. That's all I'll say. But all, all I was saying I've watched this is footage your, 50 your push, times. You've pushed it out, I'm running at you, so I not have to... Not have yeah, to no, but just... you just need to put a foot... You just need to fuck it. I mate, I will put it in the back of the net if that happens. I'm getting it that way. Um, not... Okay, uh, right, it's fine. But yeah, that, that's coming. Uh, it's a fucking shit show. Yeah, enjoy it. But when is isn't it? Um, <laughs> anyway, let's talk. Uh, Fulham. I don't. I don't have much to say about Fulham. Great, let's talk Fulham. Win that. And if we don't win, what that, a day! It'll be disgraceful. That's all I can say about that. What if you lose? Yeah. You won't. No, there's, no, I don't think there's, 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 there's none of that you might not win, but you should bullshit that we normally do. If you lose, well, you're not losing to Fulham. Fulham are so shit at the minute. It's quite it's funny, shocking. isn't it? It's just That's funny, it. isn't it? Um, they get in, uh, the only other thing we need to mention is um, the state of Scottish football. That, it's, it's insane, that is. So if you don't know, bruv, hey! Oh, sorry, my cat's like picking up the carpet. Anyway, um, if you don't know what we're talking about, Brendan Rodgers has left Celtic. Um, how many games left? Ten? Ten games left? Ten. Of the season. Um, where they're, they're probably going to win the league. And he's done all of that just to join Leicester. I'm sorry, my cat's being a prick. Go, go, and, go and kick, kick your cat, cat in the head. <laughs> Where did he go? <laughs> right, yeah, but no, the, 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 the thing about that being, obviously, that the one thing I don't understand is, yeah, I, I, he's done all he can with Celtic. He's, he's failed in Europe. He's won. He's about to win his third treble. He, he could have stayed on for eight in a row, I think, or nine in a row. Um, it's a historic number of titles. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a lot. For, it's a you lot. haven't seen that. But also, Leicester are not going to get relegated. That's not going to happen. No, yeah, of course. Leicester will not push for Europe. That is not going to happen. Leicester are out of every single cup competition. Yeah. Go in the summer. Literally, Leicester can survive 10 games with... The caretaker. An interim manager. Easy. Surely. It's insane. I couldn't believe it when I saw... I I saw the rumours first, of course, and then all of a sudden it was like, yeah, he's gone, he's there. It was like, what? Also, he's a bit of an egotistical cut, isn't he? Yeah. What? Now there's beeping outside... God's sake, sorry. Oh, disgrace. It's cool. Um, it's cool. Yeah, but basically, yeah. But it really speaks. But then again, I, I was listening to The Guardian and they made... Uh, no, maybe not The Guardian, maybe. Maybe it was the other one. Totally fo- I wanted Maybe Totally Football Show. Uh, and they made an excellent point um, that they said, uh, is this a low point? Like, is this a sobering moment for Scottish football? Yeah. That someone's willing to do that. And all he replied was, the sobering moment came when Rooney left Aberdeen to go to Salford City. <laughs> and they were just like, ah, it's that, fair. Yeah, it's, it's just, it speaks volumes on Scottish football. Like, that the, the, the manager that who's winning, going to win the, champ, the, the, the title would rather go to Leicester. And, and no diss on Leicester, just where they're at this season, it's insane. I, can't, I couldn't believe it. But Neil, Neil, Neil Lemon's back, back, so you know. Yeah. Hurrah! Oh. <laughs> Silver linings. Yay. Um, um, I think <laughs> I briefly wanted to talk about the transfer ban, and I said this to Josh just before we started filming. I thought oh, I had some really good insight on the transfer ban, that it was going to be a good thing. Turns out it's not good insight. A lot of people have said it, but it is, it's interesting. That, <laughs> um, you say it's a good thing after you go two windows on the side of the player. I'll tell you, mate, it's fucking not a good thing. It's not the best thing, but it could be something good for Chelsea. And I know, I know you're, you last two games, forgetting the last two games, you're having a good season and you haven't signed <laughs> someone in two, in two, two uh, windows. So I don't know. It's, it's, it's weird. Hopefully, because one of them's going to leave. What the fuck, man? 
<laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Stop being a little bitch, man. Sorry, Jack. Yeah. I know, I'm sorry, but he needed a shit, so he had to go out. <laughs> so, transfer ban. Um, it's it's interesting. Yeah, like, Pulisic is coming in the summer. Um, William, Pedro and Hazard. One of them, or at least one of them, is probably going to go. Because they come into the end of their tra- contracts. Hazard obviously has an eye on Real Madrid. William and Pedro are getting on a bit, so... Pulisic is going to come in and replace one of them and hudson Adoy gives him a bit of breathing room to come into the team, which is a good, ultimately going to be a good thing for Chelsea. So, I don't know, it could it could end up being a good thing. Um, I'm saying could because it could be disastrous as well. Here's the thought of you. Go on. What if hudson Adoy isn't that good? Which is still a possibility at this point. Yeah, for sure. Um... I like you said, I, Pedro and Pedro and William are getting on for they, wingers as well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Pedro like, showed last night that he he's still got talent in him, but he doesn't do that every week. Hmm. Yeah, I think I think it's a worry. I think you've got quite an aging squad as well. Yeah, we do for, for sure. We do. Um, and this is why we need a bit of youth. And if Callum isn't isn't as good as, as cracked up as he is, as he's made out to be, we're probably fucked. But I I, I can't see it because when he has come on, he's shown such attacking talent and he's only 18 there's only up for him mm, maybe <laughs> hopefully not oh, for, hopefully. Hopefully it's Bayern, then hopefully the, but that, that, but that then, blew, the Bayern thing blew my mind to be fair because he's only 18 he hasn't proved himself that much like we know he's got talent but he hasn't like gone out and done all like loads of mad shit he hasn't gone on loan had a mad season He's and they wanted to buy him for 35 mil that's mad that is like football is Yeah, I think we discussed the fact that it was like the highest they've ever offered to pay, offer to pay uh, a player that uh, was near the transfer. I don't think Owen Lewandowski was high. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's one of those things. Um, yeah. Just, it's good. Chelsea's future is, as they're always, very unstable. So. I have a theory that um, in our lifetime we'll see a top six get club get relegated. And it'll probably be top one because the gods hate me, but. I have a feeling City and Chelsea will dry up financially. That your owner will desert you, and you will pull it. I can. Hopefully. I can see relega- I can't see relegation, but I can see us taking a big just pull of it. Why not? And I think this might be the the. If Leicester can win the title, the Chelsea can get relegated, just by simple odds. Yeah, yeah, no, this could be the start of the end. But like, you take this for season, for example. I mean, this isn't the start of the end. I mean, in our lifetime, this could be in forty years when Abramovich is dead. Turns out all his money was illegally acquired. Chelsea gets repossessed and given back to the fans and the fans go, oh, we're only going to bring youth through and then, because we've hated it for so long and then, I don't know what I'm saying, but you know, it's, you know, it's a possibility. It, mate, it's a possibility, it. but it's a possibility for everyone. It's, like, yeah. it's just, um, yeah, no, I can, I, I can see this being a start of, of an end because of, of especially of how we've won our trophies over the past couple of years, it's not sustainable. It's for the f- past fifteen years, it's it, it's done us good, but it's not. Especially, I think there's a new, a new tide with football, and 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 and. Sticking with a team is 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 becoming more and more prevalent, and building stuff is becoming more and more prevalent, especially in the Premier League now. Is it? I think we. I think. I think. Well, we've, we've just come out. We've, 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 we're four years past the 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 um, Ferguson reign. We've just come out the Wenger reign. True. True. I think. I don't think. I don't think it's as simple to say that we're coming into a building thing here. And things sometimes work. Things sometimes don't. Apparently, Foyth is the future of centre backs because he's a ball playing, nimble centre back. However, as soon as that happens. Someone like Van Dijk will come and nut him. And <laughs> there's always this 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 need, I think, with football to say that 
there's now it's now this is what the way football's going and yeah it, as if it's not this incredibly fluid thing where if you go to league two you're gonna see a shit show of long balls and if you go to barcelona you're gonna see ticky tacky master classes that's the way it'll always be and no uh, no you, so you change fair, and be fluid and it'll always be shit and it'll always let you down i mean you was going you did a really good speech then and then you ended it very sadly again <laughs> Oh, that's all good. Um, have you got anything else to say, Jay? Um, I don't think I do. You know. Yeah, me neither. I think we're I think we're done. I think the that's podcast. Smash Arsenal, pricks. Come on, Charles against Fulham. Fucking thanks yeah. for watching, everyone. Yeah. Turn in, tune in. Oh, well. Sunday for bless again. Tell your dad. Tell your father. Next week we'll be back together. I'm going to get some beds. But you can't wait. <laughs>